here in this problem we would like to calculate the center of mass of a system where the system consists of three particles each particle is having a mass of 1 kg 2 kg and 3 kg and they are placed at the three corners of a equilateral triangle let us imagine this is our equilateral triangle where all sides are equal at each corner there is an angle of 60 degree here there is a mass of 1 kilogram at this corner here there is a mass of 2 kilogram at the second corner here there is a mass of 3 kilogram at the third corner now we want to calculate the center of mass of the system from where we have to calculate is as per the given problem from 1 kilogram when he has not given anything that how is the masses are distributed we can take it like this if you have not taken like this if you have taken in some another way obviously the answer is going to be different so we are assuming that uh, 2 kilogram is given on the x axis and 3 kilogram is in the plane in between the x axis and the y axis if that is the case this is going to be our answer so this is what our origin is so our problem has three particles m1 of mass uh, three particles m1 of mass 1 kilogram m2 of mass 2 kilogram m3 of mass 3 kilogram let us also try to identify the location of each of these particles with reference to the origin that is at 1 kilogram as per the given problem x1 y1 the location of the first body of mass 1 kilogram is at uh, origin because we have assumed that we are calculating from that particular location he has given that uh, the side of the triangle is 1 centimeter or 1 meter it is not centimeter as per the given problem it is nothing but uh, 1 meter then x2 y2 will be it is on x axis at a distance 1 meter and it is on the x axis itself therefore y component equal to 0 now i would like to calculate calculate what is the location of the third particle what is the value of uh, x3 y3 location of the third particle mass 3 kilogram if you drop down a vertical line it cuts the 1 meter line exactly at the middle therefore it is very clear that from the x axis it is at a distance of half meter then how much is the distance that it is having from the y axis y3 we want to calculate we can see a right angle triangle with a hypothesis of 1 meter adjacent side of half meter and opposite side is nothing but equal to y3 therefore by applying the pythagoras law i can write 1 square equal to half square plus y3 square then 1 equal to 1 by 4 plus y3 square therefore y3 square equal to 1 minus 1 by 4 as we want y3 alone under square root that is root 3 by 4 that is nothing but equal to root 3 by 2 so the components of the third body the system is nothing but equal to 1 by 2 and root 3 by 2 so now it is clear for us that uh, what are the different uh, parts of the system we know different parts of the system are m1 m2 and m3 and we also know the location of each of the system then identifying the center of mass is further simple being the system is in two dimension it will have xcm as well as the ycm i can write xcm as m1 x1 plus m2 x2 and uh, m3 x3 by m1 plus m2 plus m3 by substituting the values we know that uh, 
m1 is 1, x1 is 0, m2 is 2, x2 is 1, m3 is 3, x3 is half. As for the data that we have just now identified, by m1 plus m2 plus m3 is 1 plus 2 plus 3. So, our answer is going to be 2 plus 3 by 2 by 6 that is 4 2 and 2 is 4 4 plus 3 is 7 7 by 2 into 6 that is nothing but equal to 7 by 12 meter that is x cm. Similarly, we can also calculate the y cm by substituting in the formula y cm is m1 y1 plus m2 y2 plus m3 y3 by m1 plus m2 plus m3 as for the standard definition of ycm m1 y1 is 0 because it is about the origin m2 y2 is also 0 because the second body is on the x-axis itself m3 y3 is 3 into root 3 by 2 by m1 plus m2 plus m3 is 6 so it is going to be how much 3 can be cancelled with 6 with 2 therefore it is going to be equal to root 3 divided by 4. So the coordinates of the center of mass is it will be having x component 7 by 12 and y component root 3 divided by 4.